Welcome to the video guide of the Flashy Science Resistivity of a Wire Experiment. The screen shows a conductive wire held between these two posts. The wire has a crocodile clip contact that can be repositioned by clicking and dragging it left and right. Beneath the wire is a ruler with a centimeter scale. Clicking on the crocodile clip opens up a zoomed view of the ruler so you can make precise measurements of the crocodile clip position. At the bottom left of the screen you'll see a voltmeter and on the bottom right an ammeter. There's also an electrical on-off switch, a fixed resistor and a 5 volt battery cell. We can turn the switch on by clicking on it. You'll then see that the voltmeter shows the potential difference across the portion of wire between the left hand post and the crocodile clip. And the ammeter shows the current passing through this wire region. The voltmeter and the ammeter each have a switch that can be used to change the sensitivity for smaller signals. For example, this changes the sensitivity from 10 volt maximum to 1 volt maximum on the voltmeter and from 1 amp to 100 milliamps on the ammeter and changes to the lower scale on each meter's screen. At the moment though, the original switch positions are the most appropriate to use. And so the switch positions didn't need changing in the first place. So we'll move back to their original positions. The crocodile clip can now be moved to different positions and the potential difference and current recorded at each point. This will allow you to investigate how the resistance of a wire changes with its length. The wire is made of nichrome at the moment, but is of unknown width. So for advanced experiments that investigate resistivity, you will need to change the wire and measure its width. To do this, first turn off the switch so there's no potential difference across the wire. Then click on the wire to move to the wire select screen. You can now choose between six wires in a row at the bottom of the screen by clicking on them. There's two different widths of nichrome wire, two widths of constantan wire, and then wires of platinum and copper. The selected wire is highlighted on the bottom row and shown on the right hand side of the screen. For now, let's go back to one of the constantan wires. Before placing this in the experiment, we have to measure its width with the micrometer that's on the screen. First, open the micrometer by clicking and dragging down the thumb wheel region here. This opens the micrometer. Then click and drag the wire so that it snaps into place in the micrometer. And then click and drag the thumb wheel up this time to close the micrometer around the sample wire. You can now use the micrometer scale to measure the wire width. If you're not sure how to do this, see our instructions online or try our micrometer experiment. Now wires generally have different widths along their length. So to check for this, for this wire, we can click and drag the wire to move it into different positions and then remeasure its width. So each time you do this, open the micrometer, reposition the wire and then close the micrometer again. Perhaps you could do this a few times to obtain an average width for the wire. When the micrometer is closed around a wire, a green and white confirm icon appears on the screen. Click this to move back to the main experiment with the currently selected wire placed into the experiment. You can see it now here between the two posts with red rings. You can then click the switch and measure the potential difference and electric current for different positions of the crocodile clip as before. If you want to change to a different wire again, remember to turn the switch off first before clicking on the wire to move to the wire select screen. The experiment also has additional functionality that you can access via this icon in the top left of the screen. It opens a menu with five more icons. The first icon simply closes the menu again. The second icon returns you to the experiment when you're on a question screen. We'll come to those shortly. The third is the click information icon. Selecting this will highlight all of the areas on the screen that can be clicked to control the experiment. The fourth icon opens up a screen of questions directly related to the experiments you might have just performed. The final icon opens up revision questions that cover the area of wire resistivity more generally. 
all questions are answered automatically and many contain randomly generated numbers, so you can retake them as many times as you like for practice. So we hope you enjoy exploring the resistivity of wires with this flashy science experiment.